Hello fellow viewers, as you can see, I trap animals. And right here, we have an opossum. Boop. Now what makes me happier as a trapper is that I didn't catch just one critter, I've captured two. The second one being a raccoon. Don't even think about it. In this video, I'll be showing you how I dealt with these guys. Welcome back. Right here we have our captured opossum. <laughs> Judging from the size alone, I would say that this is a male opossum. Male opossums are larger than female opossums. Other ways to determine if it's a male opossum, male opossums usually have a yellow stained chest, but I couldn't catch it in this video. Or they're two peas in a pod, which were probably pulled back because the opossum was stressed. Right here we have the opossum drooling for having his mouth open for too long. But this guy seems to be okay, so he is free to go. Opossums don't really cause us any harm. They take care of bugs, such as ticks, that may carry Lyme disease. They also help eliminate rodents along with snakes. So with the turning of the cage and the boop of the tail, this little guy was free to go. Uh, the door is open. Do I just, am I, do I, I guess I can walk out? Uh, thank you for the free meal, sir. You have a good one. If you had seen George's first video, you might be wondering why Pablo wasn't let go immediately, just like that one was. Pablo was fairly small and he was slightly bigger than George at the time, but the large opossum that he just released could hold his own easily. The weather was also different. With Pablo, the sun was out and it was pretty hot, nearly 100 degrees. But with the opossum I just released, it had just rained and the sun was hidden by the clouds. Opossums don't have the best eyesight, so with the sun glaring down on them, it makes it hard to see during the day. During this time, George was fighting for his life, but I had stayed up all night to make sure that he was okay. This was George a few hours after I found him. Now back to the raccoon here, we're probably going to name him Randy. That's a terrible name. Now the reason why Randy won't be let out here is because raccoons are pretty destructive. If you have had any experience with the raccoon, you would know what I'm talking about. These guys are loud, they scratch a lot, and make quite a lot of noise while they're in your roof. If this problem isn't fixed soon, you may start to hear a family up there, and this can carry on for many years. Services to get rid of raccoons and repair roofs are pretty expensive, so I try my best to keep this from happening, and I do that by trapping and releasing them. <laughs> raccoons are also pretty unpredictable, just like that bark was. Although I think raccoons are pretty cool creatures, make sure to stay clear of them if you ever encounter one in person. <laughs> These guys can be fast and vicious if they attack you. And they also have a much higher chance of carrying rabies than opossums, since opossums rarely carry it because of their low body temperature. Just like with any wild animal, make sure to stay safe. <laughs> now back to Randy here. He is a healthy raccoon. Of course I'm healthy. The telltale signs of a raccoon having rabies doesn't just include foaming at the mouth. It can also mean confusion, being oblivious to its surroundings, appearing ill, and trouble walking. Raccoon hands are also pretty handy. They have five fingers on each paw, which are great for digging and scratching, just like the dirt that Randy has dug up in the cage. After a bit of a drive, Randy is escorted to a place where he'll be able to grow safely and live comfortably without the clash of humans and raccoons. Freedom! With Randy being free, this concludes the video. Thank you for staying and watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay safe and well, and may God bless you.